tonight I'm working on the orange Chevette. Uh, it has a leaking cam seal, and I figured I might as well show everyone how to do a timing build on a Chevette. It's pretty simple. Uh, I already moved all the stuff's in the way. I pulled the radiator out. I have it up there because of the wiring for the fan. It went disconnected. Um, I had to remove it on this car because the electric fan's real close to water pump. I'm not positive on a car that had a regular belt fan if you have to remove it or not. But it makes it easier to see, too, and easier to work on. You know, all you gotta do is drain the coolant and pull the hoses off. There's only two things driven by the time belt on these motors there's the camshaft, and down there's the crankshaft. Uh, there's no like intermediate shaft or anything like that. There's an either pulley right there. You have to line the motor up, like I'll show you here, before you remove the belt. Okay, you want to turn the motor over by hand until. Your timing mark on the crank pulley is at zero on your timing tab. Now you may have to do this twice until the other part lines up because the camshaft rotates once for every two rotations of the crank. You'll know if it's right because there is a hole inside of here. See, you can see it right there. That should be roughly at one o'clock. So if that's roughly at 1 o'clock and your timing mark is at 0 on the balance or you have it right, then what you do, you take a screwdriver, in this case I'm using an Allen key, if you have everything lined up right, it actually goes through the pulley and into a hole on the cover on the cylinder head. Put that in there and you just locked in your timing. Now you're safe to remove the belt. To remove the belt, just look down at your timing tensioner. It's a smooth pulley here on the passenger side of the motor near the bottom. It's a 13 millimeter bolt on it. You just loosen the tension on that. And you'll see the whole pulley just moves. The bolt's actually off center in this pulley. And by moving that pulley towards the center of the motor or away from the center of the motor, actually controls the tension on the belt. So now the tension's released and you can pull the belt off. There you go. You just slide it off from down there. You might take the crank pulley off for that. I'm not because I'm not going that far. But take the crank pulley off. There's a big bolt in the center. Take that out. There's another timing cover behind there. You can see I painted it black. You have to take that off to slide the belt off. Okay, I got everything back together again. Well, I got the seal change, pull you back on. So, once again, you want to make sure you have your pull lined up in the pulley with a, you know, an Allen key or a screwdriver through it. You want your timing mark lined up with zero on your timing pointer. If you have those two things in, in check, then your timing's on. Then what you want to do is you take an Allen wrench, there's actually a hole in this pulley, and you actually pry on it to tension the belt. Now watch, because a lot of times when you tension the belt, your timing will move because you're actually pulling it, so make sure everything's still lined up. Now they actually make a belt deflection gauge for this, but uh, get real, it's, it's a Chevette here. So just, you can feel it, I mean... Put about the same amount of tension you'd put on like a V-belt or something. When you have it set, hold the Allen key and then take a wrench, tighten up the pulley here, and that'll actually pinch this pulley against the block and it'll hold your timing and set. Can't we do that while I'm filming, so I'm going to do that and then get back to you. Okay, there, I tightened it up. We have about, eh, tension on it. Not ridiculously tight, but, you know, tight enough where you don't think it's going to come off. And that's pretty much it. It's probably one of the simplest timing belts you can do. The only thing you got to do now is put all the covers back on. Put the radiator back in after you removed it, fill it with coolant. Put the belt back on. Good to go. So I'll do that now.